And if anyone is like, this is just too small, it, you can get it through the math dashboard easily. And I can show you how to do that real quick if you need. I know there are people who maybe have varying levels of familiarity with the Math Common Core. If you could look at the board for a second, just a quick recap. The domains are like the very big topics. Operations and algebraic thinking, number and operation in base 10, like the very big topics that go across grade levels. And then these bolded things right here are called clusters. Those are the big ideas that usually have two or three standards underneath, right? Number and operation in base 10 is the domain. It's the big idea. But then under that, a, a cluster is understand place value with the standards underneath. And with the Common Core, it's nice because they're like, hey, look, these are the clusters that are the most important. And so when you look here at the tracker, this is second grade. It says operations and algebraic thinking, and then it has the clusters underneath. There may be more than one standard that fall under that cluster, but this data is organized by the major clusters, and it only shows the major clusters. And so I'm the second grade uh, data leader. You can see for every cluster how every t uh, teacher in the network has performed over the course of the year. So you can see the three Ash second grade teachers, the two green second grade teachers. And you can also see what we've been working on over time. So I know this is a little bit intense of a tracker, but it's actually really helpful. And I think you guys could actually do my job for me if you spent 10 minutes getting in this data. So I'm actually gonna ask you for right now to take five minutes and just start jotting down notices, <coughs> right? A noticing could be, um, I noticed that AM had trouble uh, with 2NPC1, it's kind of an outlier right now. In general, just noticings. And just start writing them down.
Before we do the rally rod, I'm going to spend the last minute talking about our sugar partner. noticing that for um, the solving problems in addition and subtraction seemed like they're strong at the beginning but then as it got more complex they got they, they were breaking down a little but the opposite happened in place value it mm -hmm. seemed like they were weaker in the beginning and then something helped help something was there with instruction or at prep day and um, they get, are getting stronger yeah that's a great noticing if you guys know I think the two early ones are um, which is the like nice funny that like direct model word problems into like a little spice here. I wish I had the actual word problems here, so then you could compare and say like on problems that look pretty similar, how are they doing? Mm -hmm. um, <coughs> there are definitely like some teachers who are who are outliers, um, but like they're even outliers within standards. Uh, just in understanding place value in the first round that it was taught. Um, if counting by five and ones is really strong, and so much of the rest of the history is relatively weak. Mm -hmm. We were noticing similar things about um, standards that seem to, the OA standards seem to decrease over time, and the um, base 10 standards seem to increase over time, and then mm -hmm. looked a little bit about particular teachers that seem to be outliers, so in um, operations and algebraic thinking, RS from Green mm -hmm. is really the only teacher who seems to sort of hold close to where he or she was at the beginning of the year and mm -hmm. yeah, so what's going on there that's not going on other places. Mm -hmm. That's where you should have to take that it's really strong. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, are these the questions that they mm -hmm. like have answered? I noticed that if they change from understanding place value, they increase. It seems like the first round of assessment on that had a lot of application of the skill and the you can look at some of the application problems. I don't know if you guys have used it. There are two questions about two months apart that are both very similar on two and T1. Mm -hmm. How many tens in 200, how many tens in 400? For me, that's a very good, like, I can officially measure what learning is happening, which is not the reason in which part. For even a simple application, the comparison, you can actually see even within that, there are four questions, and you can see which schools are most likely having teachers do with this teacher, or just like compare two numbers 